A typical mechanic workshop, manual examination of the hundreds of electrical and mechanical components, the nerves and arteries that rolls the wheels, as well as the vehicle central processing unit. A tradition of trial and error and the saturation of the spare parts market with substandard and used motor spare parts, inciting distrust between motorists, the mechanic and motor spare parts sellers. Jack, they uh, remove the tire, remove the, this, this, is it because, because you want to charge you? And the mechanic attend to the vehicle when we call it, it's overheating. He said, it's okay, and it will not do overheating again. Before I get to Lokoja, because I am from Lagos, the same issue. The motorists may be pointing their fingers at the mechanics. When when on so a Pujo specialist strolled into my camera, the finger pointing trends further. But when you come to the new pass, maybe you will put like a budget today. In the next three weeks, they'll start calling you that the budget is not good, the car has been doing this and that. So we have been discouraged to buy the new pass. Apple spare parts market, one of the major motor spare parts market in Abuja. This is where most of the mechanics come to buy spare parts. And here, each and every business has in its shop, so in its kitty, different kind of spare part, motor spare parts. There are those that have been used locally and those that have been used out of this country and imported and also those that are brand new. And here is where the mechanics come to buy those spare parts to fix those cars that are brought to them for repairs daily. Following a maker to his motor spare parts store was an eye-opener. Used motor spare parts being recalibrated and his store to the brim with different categories of motor spare parts. He blames the dwindling economy for the imports of low-grade motor spare parts. They have the original new parts, but nowadays people, people bought the inferior one like China's and the lower one because of the price. But the finger pointings may not last long as the world goes the opposite direction, stimulating the use of electric, solar and gas propelled vehicles. And Nigeria places the responsibility of this transition on the shoulders of a global name in the motor and design industry. Jelani Aliyu said key steps have already been taken in that direction with a viable target. We see that in about 10 years, at least, uh, if not more, at least 50% of the vehicles, if not more, are electric in Nigeria, at least 50. And then the other 50 would be natural gas powered. Now that the vehicle of the future is already running on Nigerian roads, the story of Nonso in the mechanic village and that of Emeka and the motor spare parts market will have to change. In Abuja, Abdullah Mohammed, NT News.